All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about assignment operators. And as you have been working on some of these, you know, basic videos as we work through some different operations, you've already been using the most common assignment operator, which is the equal sign. But to make our code more concise, we can combine the assignment operator with other operators like arithmetic operators. And this is just, a, again, a different way of writing our code instead of literally writing out this variable minus that variable, uh, we can do some different things. So uh, let's go, actually, let's move down. So we have all this other code that we've written previously and that's fine. What if we did uh, first number plus equals 10? So the plus equals gives us the same thing as we've seen up here. It's just a different way of writing things. So if we're plus equaling 10, we're saying first number plus 10, right? Second number equals 10, but we're literally saying 10, but it's going to increment it by that amount. So we can do the same thing with minus equals. So we could take that 10 right back off but it's really no different than saying first number equals first number plus 10. So again, it's, a, it's just a different way to write something a little more concisely. So we can do this with minus, we can do this with multiply equals, we can do this with divide equals. It's a personal preference on whether or not you write out the statement completely or if you use the assignment operators, but you should understand and recognize what they are and what they do so that when you maybe come across them in an example code, then you, you're able to read that code correctly. You are not required to use them. You're more than welcome to continue writing out your statements uh, like here in this example, but you can practice kind of understanding how to use these operators, what they look like, maybe introduce them into your code so that you're familiar with them.